Hello, in today's experiment we're going to reduce some uh, copper 2 oxide uh, using hydrogen. Now copper 2 oxide is a black substance, as you can see it's black powder, and we've taken a little of this black powder and we've put it into this little porcelain combustion boat here in this combustion tube. And in this flask here we've got some magnesium turnings uh, and some dilute sulfuric acid. And the hydrogen is going to go and be bubbled through uh, concentrated sulfuric acid to dry it. And then it's going to pass into the combustion tube. And the hydrogen will then combine with the oxygen that is contained uh, molecularly bound in the copper oxide. And we should end up with a nice bright red powder of uh, elemental copper at the end of this experiment. So I'm going to heat this up. We've got our hydrogen flowing. We just put the uh, acid into the uh, it goes, and the magnesium is reacting with the sulfuric acid to produce hydrogen gas. As you can see, it's bubbling through here. And then we're heating this up to a uh, red heat. I'm just going to increase the gas going through. And through this tube, this extra tube, we should begin to see some water vapour come out in the form of steam because the copper oxide will give up its oxygen and combine with the hydrogen and leave behind elemental copper. So let's just see what happens this as the hydrogen races in through. We should begin to see the black copper oxide after about a minute or so begin to turn into a red powder. And we're going to use this finely divided copper uh, in another experiment, in an organic experiment, by mixing it with zinc to make a zinc couple uh, that we're going to add to ethyl iodide uh, to produce um, some zinc ethyl. So here's the hydrogen bubbling it through at a steady pace and we should begin to see just here in the combustion tube just at the end tip here where the hydrogen is coming in here. I don't want to find my finger by pointing too close. There we are, look, you see some incandescence there with the copper oxide there. It's beginning to change colour already. So brisk evolution of hydrogen here. And it'll produce a reddish copper colour. So I'm going to prove that to you now. If I just remove, there's the, you see some steam coming out here of the combustion tube, just here, just showing that the copper oxide is giving up its oxygen, combining with the hydrogen to produce water, and going to leave behind pure elemental copper. So let me just take the monster burner out of the way, so that we can see. Yes, there's definitely a reddish color, reddish copper color there in the combustion tube as I nearly can bust my finger touching it, so I'll try not to do that. So, that's all for today. The next time we're going to be mixing that with some uh, ethyl iodide to produce some zinc ethyl.